Shalom, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakudash. Double honors unto our apostles, and that is a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami Camp coming back with another lesson. Lord willing and certifying, all right? In the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, I'm going to do, uh, normally this is a quick lesson. I just want to speak on the most side judging these false pastors and preachers, okay? In particular, these uh, so-called Christians, okay? Which we like to call uh, plantation Christianity, all right? This is a video put up by ABC7 Chicago. And it's titled, Beloved Chicago Pastor and Wife Brutally Attacked, Parts of Ears Bitten Off on Southside. Okay? And this is a clear judgment from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shai, on these, on these uh, false pastors, man, for lying to their congregation, lying on the scriptures, and lying on, on the Mosai and His Son. Alright? These, these Christians... Do not have the truth of the Bible. They, they're preaching that same watered down, twisted, okay, uh, doctrine that was taught to us by our slave masters, okay, by the oppressor, telling us that uh, Jesus, who they call Jesus, first off, his name is not Jesus, it's Yahweh Shai, okay, looked like a so called white man. With long stringy hair, he loves everybody. Okay, he loves everybody, but he loves the, the so-called white man more. Okay, because that's really what what they believe. You see. Now, when you go through the comment section, you're gonna see different people talking about, oh, uh, Satan wants to stop their mission. Satan wants to stop, uh, you know, them from preaching. And that, that that's not that's not the case, man. This was judgment from the Lord Himself on these false pastors for preaching lies. Okay, we're gonna play this video. We're gonna get some scriptures, man, because this is all spiritual. Up outside his mother's property in the Fernwood neighborhood has a life changing encounter last weekend. Really heartbreaking to see. Um, it's, it's hard to describe just how gruesome it, it was without being too graphic, but it, it was very very um, jarring to see. Pastor Timothy Johnson and his wife, Renee, a special education teacher, share their accounts of what happened due to their injuries, did not want to appear on camera. Johnson says a man from the neighborhood offered to sell some watches. Johnson declined and describes a sudden vicious attack with a shovel he'd been using. He says the man bit both of his ears and when his wife tried to help, she was also beaten and had both ears bitten. Physically, it's really a... A, a tremendous blow uh, to me, my wife, and to our family. My life has been changed 100%. Chicago police report Elijah Prince was charged with attempted murder for the attacks last Saturday. The gentleman tried to basically sell him something, uh, and then my dad said no, and literally after no, that was it. He was attacked. So it wasn't a full conversation. It wasn't a you know five or ten minute you know reasoning session. It was pretty instant, and I, and I think that's what's the most shocking about it. The couple, whose lives have been dedicated to service, say this has been a blow to their bodies, but not to their spirits. We have come out of this, and we've come out of this for a reason. May not know what the reason is right now, but we've come out of this. I want to see and the reason is because you're wicked. Justice for the individual situation that occurred, but also want to see a, a greater sense of community come forth from this. Pastor Johnson had actually stepped back from ministry temporarily as he's going through treatment for cancer. The Johnson's children set up a GoFundMe account to help their parents with all these... Un and he got cancer, so that's a, that's a double judgment, all right? But they, they just can't... Like like the, the wife said, she said she, she don't know why it happened. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you, 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 you preach your lies and you're wicked, Okay. And then they said they have uh, the the ears got bitten off him, him and his wife by this guy, right? Now, um, 
Let me get this article. Okay. This is also an article from CBS Chicago. And it said, Pastor and wife recovering after attacker bit off parts of their ears. And, and it says, gouged their eyes in vicious beating. And they said it was un, unprovoked. Okay, they, they, just, they just got attacked. And they got their ears bitten and their, and their eyes gouged. Now, that's the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Like uh, like we, we spoke, they're going to say, oh, oh uh, Satan is trying to stop them from preaching the gospel and whoop de whoop Well, guess what, man? This is Psalms 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Okay, so the reason... The Lord, the, the script said, if you serve in the Lord in truth and sincerity, and you're really following after him, nothing, ain't nothing like this going to happen to you, man. Okay, now we understand that the Lord has certain things happen to his servants. Okay, as a trial, as a tribulation, you can read different accounts of the scriptures where he has certain men of the Lord that were beaten, that were whipped, that were put to death. Okay? But that's different. Okay, that's totally different. What happened to these two, this couple right here, that was that was, that was straight up mockery and humiliation from the Lord. Okay, and, and clearly that man that leaped on him, okay, clearly he had a demon on him, clearly. Okay. To say that was it was unprovoked and you know, he was just trying to sell him son and then he refused and then after that, the guy just uh, went to to beating him down. So why? Where was Jesus? Where was Jesus the Christ at? Why couldn't this pastor and his wife call upon the name of the Lord to defend him? Why couldn't they rebuke that that man in in the name of Jesus and and uh, you know, exercise that demon off him? Because clearly he had a demon on him. Ain't nobody just gonna bite people's ears off and gouge their eyes for you know. If they're in their right mind. Clearly it was an evil spirit on that man. To, to do those things. So where was that. That righteous. Uh, spirit to counter. That. That, uh, that uh, evil spirit. There wasn't any. Why because the true righteous power. The true righteous spirit. Comes from you calling on the name of Yahweh And Yahweh Shai. All right. And that makes me think of this. This is the book of Acts chapter 19. Okay. And 13. Which we understand this story. We know the story. But we're going to bring it out for edification. All right. Then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord. Yahawashai saying we adjure you by Yahawashai whom Paul preached. Okay, so you had an example of these certain uh, of certain Jews, certain men of 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 Judah that took upon themselves to be exorcists, to call themselves uh, rebuking evil spirits and and, and uh, you know uh, calling evil spirits out of people, which that's not something that you can just take on to yourself. You have to be ordained by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. To have power over over these spirits, okay. As a matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Luke, chapter ten, and verse seventeen. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, "Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through Thy name." Okay, that's one example. Another example is in uh, the book of Matthew, chapter ten. And verse, let me see. Let me see. So lucky it wasn't Matthew. So I'm getting confused. Oh, it was Matthew 10. I'm tripping. I looked right over it. The first verse, Matthew 10 and 1. 
And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. You see, so to have power to, to call out unclean spirits and wicked spirits and to cast them out. That's the actual power. That's true spiritual power that has to be given to you by the Lord, man. OK, and you calling on the name Jesus Christ. You ain't going to get that power straight up. OK, and the, and the example going back to Acts chapter 19, you had these certain men. They were actually calling on the name Yahweh Shai. OK, and they still they still didn't have that 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 power. OK, because you got to be ordained of the Lord. So back in Acts chapter 19 and uh, 14. And there were seven sons of one Siva, a Jew and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh Shai, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are ye? So the evil spirit that was in the man said, I know Yahweh Shai and I know Paul, but I don't know y'all. And y'all don't have no authority over me. You see, and then what the evil spirit did, verse 16, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them, meaning he whooped they ass. OK, because these spirits, man, they once they get on certain people, they can make them strong. You can read about the man Legion that had them demons on there. Every time they tried to bound them with chains, he would bust out of them. You see. So that that's power on the left hand side. That's demonic power. And it, it's strong. It's to a certain degree. It's strong. It has strength. You see? So the and and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. You see, that was humiliating. That was humiliating. And this this is a perfect example for what we uh what happened to that pastor and his wife in Chicago. That wasn't uh suffering uh for for righteousness, man. That was be the reason that happened to them is because they don't there's no power in the name of Jesus, there ain't no power in the doctrine that they preaching, you see. And that was a, a, a sign from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that he's getting ready to judge these false pastors and, and preachers, man, and their families. You see? So, and, and we, you know, just looking at it spiritually, the man bit their ears off and gouged their eyes. So that makes me think about this. This is a book of Ezekiel, chapter 12. In verse 1, the word of Yahweh also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. That rebellious house being Israel. Our people are rebellious, man. They serve the Lord according to their own heart and their own mind. They have a zeal of the Lord, but not according to knowledge. And why? Because they rejected knowledge. I already know the truth is all throughout Chicago. I know for a fact that Pastor had to come across the truth, man. I'm pretty sure he know he's an Israelite. He know we're the Israelites, but is he going to teach his congregation that? No. So that's why the Lord judgment. That's just a, a, a small preview of what the Lord is getting ready to do, man. Judgment is, is going to fall on the house of Israel. Okay? Which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. You see, so the Lord had the, their physical eyes gouged and their ears bit off. Why? It's because spiritually their eyes are closed and their ears are closed to his word. They rejected the Lord's word. So the Lord had that physically manifest in the form of a demon attacking them. And, and beating them and, and, and biting them in the ears and, and gouging their eyes, man. You ain't gonna hear you ain't gonna hear no story like that happen to a true servant of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. 
Not not nothing like that, man. Okay? Now, the scriptures talk about men of the Lord suffering different, you know, trials, tribulations. But something like this, a demon coming, trying to attack you. There's examples of, of men of the Lord rebuking these demons and, and, and uh, sending them on their way. That's a clear sign that the Lord was not with the Christian church, period. And the Lord uh, controls the, the spirits on the left hand anyway. So, so where was uh, Jesus the Christ? It's Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 4. Then Yahweh said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. So you got these different false pastors and preachers, so-called leaders of the Christian faith. The Lord ain't speak to them. The Lord ain't set them up. What they speaking, that ain't the word of the Lord. That's the word of Esau Edom. That's that shit they learned in the theological seminary school. Which is nothing more than Edomite supremacy. Okay? They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the, the deceit of their heart. You see? You just look at that guy. He had no hair on his head, no hair on his face. Clearly going off. Okay? His, his wife, she she damn near had a bald head. That's against the scriptures. I'm pretty sure they, they eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, tell their congregation that it's okay. I'm pretty sure they just celebrated Easter. They probably uh, already got the thing. They're telling their congregation to go get the thing. So they speaking of a false vision. I'm pretty sure they're telling their congregation that everything is going to be all right. Verse 15, therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet they say, Swore and famine shall not be in this land. I'm pretty sure they're telling their congregation that, you know, everything is going to get uh, go back to normal. Just go get the thing. Jesus loves everybody. whoop de whoop Are they telling their congregation to get ready for Jacob's trouble? Are they telling their congregation to watch out for the, for the uh, mark of the beast? Are they telling their congregation that they're the Israelites and that they need to repent and call on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Because Esau, Edom is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And that wrath is, is truly from the Lord. No. So what? By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. You see? So the Lord spared them. They not dead yet. But the Lord is showing that he's getting ready to make a mighty judgment on, on these uh, wicked uh, false prophets. Is the book of Matthew, chapter 13. Okay. And um, I'll get straight to the point. Isaiah, uh, Matthew 13 and 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Isaiah which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that pastor came across the, the truth and, and actually saw it. He probably seen brothers out on the highways. He probably came across the videos. He saw it physically, but he couldn't spiritually see it. He heard because the scriptures say, have they not heard? So I'm pretty sure he heard uh, uh, of the Hebrew Israelites. But did he spiritually hearken and listen? No. Verse 15, for this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed 
Let's say any see they close their eyes, their spiritual eyes. So the Lord had his eyes gouged physically. They closed their, their spiritual ears. So the Lord had their ears physically bitten off. You can't tell me that man ain't have no, no demon on him. So where was the power of, of Jesus the Christ to combat that that uh that wicked spirit? There, there wasn't any because the, the, the spirit behind Jesus the Christ is demonic. That doctrine that they preaching, it is demonic. So there's no power in that of the right hand to combat the left hand, man. That's that's clear right there. That's, that's proof is in the pudding, man. Matthew 13 and 15, for this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. So the Lord don't want to heal certain individuals. He wants certain individuals to be the destroyed. Why? Because they can't get this truth. And he don't want them to get the truth. The scriptures say, the, oh, the blind, if the blind lead of the blind, both shall fall in the ditch. So the Lord got these different false prophets and, and pro false teachers set up who are blind. They can't spiritually see and leading others to the slaughter. Verse 16, for the blessed are your eyes. For they see and your ears for they hear. So he's given us that eye solve. So that you know he's cured our blindness and a, 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 a awaken us to this truth. Okay, we have eyes to see and ears to hear. Alright. So Low one, this is edifying. This is something I wanted to uh go into, man. More look out for more judgments coming upon these uh these uh the, the the wicked of our nation okay especially these so-called christians all right <laughs> to next uh lesson i'm gonna uh, say shalom